Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> okay. So welcome to our seminar carnival. So a couple of minutes that you see the video here, can you all can guess that what the topic for this day seminar carnival? Can Bon can guess it? Yeah, is uh, the how architecture studies can be adapted into other design field. Okay, so uh, the topic for today is about as we are in our last year as an architecture student, many of us are still wondering about our future career. So many of us might continue as an architect or but some might consider other part in the design fields. So we want to raise this topic of uh, architectural study can be adapted into the another design fields. So today we have the guest that we invite Kun Varut Dongkelkat or Pinat, who is a founder of the Lower Light Studio to have a talk and share the experience about the, this topic. Yeah, welcome. So now we welcome guest. Hello, Kap. Good afternoon, Kap. So we would like to welcome Pinat uh, to our seminar, Kap Hope. So uh, I will firstly shortly introduce the guest, Kap. So Kun Warud is uh, our senior at uh, School of Architecture and Design. And first time I saw him at the ASA camp and we have talk for some story and can I can know him about what he do and when I have a chance I have the experience to go to his work that he organized or he do it. So in our first session we would like to know more about Pinat. Can you introduce yourself more? Okay, crap. So uh, my name is Borodong Kalkat, crap. Uh, I'm from like SOAD 13, like graduated right 10 years ago. And I'm from architecture department. And after I graduated, I go to work at Win 101 Architect for one year. And after that, I have to change my career a bit like I transform myself into another kind of architecture thing but in different way to work I go to work with R4D magazine in editorial team to write the articles and take a architectural photos a bit and after that I go to master degree at Chiang Mai University in visual art so that the important part that I apply the architectural background to in terms of art or installation. And after that, as Tim said, I work as an event designer at Feng Jai like for four or five years. And until now, I'm working on my, my studio, the lower line. Wow, I've done a lot. Uh, and how was your life as a student when you come into the university? Mm. When when I was like in school, I'm I'm not a good student. I, I have to say like I'm not that good student, but I'm interested in in design very much. Like I like to design. I like to have a thinking process and working on concept of architecture at that time. Hmm. And I also like to working on like model making. I like to craft something in terms of architecture at that time. So I'm really like in like fifth year before graduate, I planned myself that, okay, I will like work in architectural studio for five years. And then I open my studio and I gonna be like, one of great architect 
at that time. That's that's my first plan in school. It's mm. Like you know now, everything changed. Mm. Uh, so, what is the reason that you study in the architecture program? Mm. So in my childhood, like I go to like have a weekend school. Like I learn art. It is always start from art, right? We learn how to draw, how to like painting, and it develop into like architectural weekend school. We go to learn quantum net, right? Hmm. And yeah, it's because I I think the direct art it a bit hard for me like to draw a realistic thing or paint with a click or watercolor it's a bit hard for me so i just got some technique got the feeling of drawing something and it's turned into like architectural design mm. yeah as as you said to to our to our that uh, you have to work for the r d magazine and and then you move uh not and why you move to the fang jai that is very a different mm -hmm. scene that you move from the magazine into the, the music magazine yeah that okay for, for this question i i think i have to like explain back from the start when when i be an architect from the first year after graduate so i uh, i still like to design but for the other stuff of architectural work it a bit like too much for me the way to submit the drawing to government or the way to like communicate with site communicate with engineer is a part that I'm not good at that part, but I still like to design. So I, I started thinking that how can I like communicate my idea or thinking process through, through some work. So I changed my path to like, to the magazine. So I still like can see the architecture project and can describe the concept or design something to communicate that the starting point. And after I worked at R4D like for one year, I seen a lot of project, like every day I have to research. I have to see many websites to update the project around the world. And mm -hmm. from that point, I think I, I seen too much. So that made me want to like go back to, to do it for myself again, like go back to design something or or like making something. But I already know that I'm not that kind of architect. So I, that's why I turn into like visual art in my master degree. So mm -hmm. I can like carry my working idea, like the way that I into architecture to apply in visual art things to do it in installation. And when I graduated from master degree, that that's the point that I have to like make the decision which way I have to go next. So I think the event design is a middle between like between architecture, design and art because it's still about the structure, it about the design, but you can do it in different way. You can put the art concept or like something more conceptual into that kind of work. So that's why I like end up with the event designer. And apart from event designer, what else did you do in Feng Chai? Mm. So my, my working role is called event designer, but there, how can I say? There are so many things to do with. Like, okay, sometimes I do the state design, hmm. but but sometimes I become like a project coordinator, 
like we invite some artist and designer to design stage so i support them and the other is i have to know how to like organize the whole concert in terms of design like we do the master plan of festival so we have to know like how we can like get people registration and pass through the security gate and go inside where should be the market where should be the first state and maybe some sponsors so i have to learn like many things in kind of management in terms of event and apply it into design so the architecture knowledge is still there yeah i think it is the same idea when we do a project we, we have to like start with the approach of audience right all the all the people that come to our project and how we lead them to like to the most important part of project mm -hmm. so we have to decide the sequence and atmosphere around them i think it's quite same between architecture and event design okay cup <laughs> so you have been working in the many fields and opening your own studio until now. Could you describe that? What is the lower life studio is? Mm, okay, for for lower line, uh, I I try to like describe my working habit or my like thinking process through the name. I think it start with the name lower line. Because I, I always interest with something behind the visible that that we've seen. Like lower line is mean it's it's not an underline of of nature. The lower line is it like is. A, a a pencil line that we do when we sketch, right? We start Firstly, with I think I think you mean lower line is uh the four four pen four line. <laughs> oh, no not really and kind of but it's it's like a pencil sketch before we put the pen and at last we only see the pen right pen line right but yeah. the starting point is something behind that something behind it's a starting of everything like that that's a definition of lower line for me like i it took me like one year to to choose that name like <laughs> too long time <laughs> yeah so, but, yeah man, maybe it's like it think too much about name but i i want to represent it through the name too and also my my work my how can i say my my technique my style is based on like dot line plane geometry shape something like quite basic quite minimal like so, so the line is become my part of work too. Okay, that is the definition of the lower line studio. Mm -hmm. So I think now we know more about Pinat and we would like to move on to the next program about what the work that he do. So we going to the yeah see some of your work that they are very interesting so which one would you like to start with or the first one to tell to request to mm -hmm. ask <laughs> yeah sure so i think that the most important part for for me for myself is kind of visual art thing that i've learned and i done something but somewhere is between there it's kind of commercial work it kind of stay design but it's still work with art idea too so i'm gonna like describe through the slide so for low line studio i i can't like specify the thing that i do but I can say I do like visual art, event design, and architecture as the main work. 
but Lower Line is not a working studio like in 100%. Sometimes it's just like exper experimental studio for me to like, I have to explore something through Lower Line. Like I took a lot of photos and do some graphic to like practice myself and learn something. So that's lower line for me. Like it's, everything can be in in my studio. So let's get to the work and yep. going to the detail when you can explain more about your work. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with the first part is visual art. So I think this one is quite popular at that time that I published the photo. It's called Mu Muta. Yeah, it's Muguta. It's directly. So this one is installation for it's a repart studio at that time, like 2019 for this side week. So they asked us to do some floating installation in front of their studio. So this one start from the concept of Isra Pub. Isra Pub is studio that work with the normal thing in your in our life, and plus with the design, it becomes something. So that's why I shoot the Mugata pen to create some kind of installation and make them feel like a bit weird, but it's a surprise thing when people come to see it floating with the shape and yeah and in the nighttime there are like some kind of lighting too but i i didn't show that so that's the first one the first version of Muta, and i did it again like use the old concept to design a new one with the other side this one is like Muta V2 at Samyan for like this side week last year. So with different side, with different existing, I have to thinking about it again, what, what shape should it be and the size, the scale. So this one is kind of one linear Muta in two sides and like directly to make people look up through the court over there. So yeah, this is the first work, the set of Muta that I did. Hmm. Yeah, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the next yeah. one is a series of the work that I did at Chiang Mai when, when I do the master degree. So this series is talk about relationship between human uh, space and the existing the atmosphere. So this project divide into like three, three or four works. The first one is talking about indoor space. So I use the paper as a material and trying to get the sense of space out from, from my paper. Like this one, this photo that you see, it's talk about the texture of, of wall. So behind that paper is the wall that students like do their pin up, hanging their painting or installation so on the wooden wall there are so many like so many holes of nails so many mm. scratch so i use a paper cover everything and like try to get the texture all of it again and also the the grid line of the tie on the floor and for this work i do like five sets of work in, in this one to represent 
like different idea of space. Like the first one is textures, but mm. this, this one is about the circulation. I used the long paper cover from like the first floor up to the stair and to see how the direction going, like people walk across the paper, people walk follow the paper and the footprint is gonna have like, it's gonna happen on the paper too. So yeah, it, it will show something kind of direction, the circulation of people over there. And the paper itself show like the direction for the walkway too. And for the right side is a long paper again to measure the height from like a kind of double space in a, a stair staircase, a stairway. So it about I think four meters mm -hmm. that make people like can imagine how high is it. Like basically we just walk past the stair stairway, but when the paper is so there, people can like measure themselves with the installation and try to think about the relationship between them and space. So that that is the first set of my work. Mm. And the work, this work, uh, have something that relate into the architectural I mean that you mm. said the, yes. like a circulation or the dimension that we will see it in the work is quite yeah, I, I use uh, I use the basic element of of architecture design in into like to apply into art terms. Use the space circulation, the height, the materials. And there, there are the others that talk about boundary and the sequence of, of floor material, something like that. Hmm. Yeah. And, okay. and since you are well known as an event designer, do you have any work from that field that you could talk about? Uh, uh, be before going to that part, I, I yeah. gonna uh, like show more about visual art, like quickly. Yeah. This one is the second work of, of the set that I talk, the relationship between human space, like existing mm. things. This one is uh, the plastic wire, the transparent one that's sent in. So I use them to like, connect across the courtyard and to create something visible, but invisible too. Like you can see from the, from the photos that it's quite hard to see, but when the, the sunlight come to like, to hit them, they show some kind of texture, some kind of reflection. Mm. And this, this one, I talk about like how we seen the space, the empty space of courtyard. Like it is an empty space or is it some kind of air volume, right? So this was kind of create something out of that thing. And with the scale, with the, like the way that I connect them. So it really with with the building. Oh, I, I forgot to, to say something. I think my kind of work it is called site specific art. Mm. So there are different between installation and site specific art. I think installation is it can be anywhere. It can be specific too, but it can be anywhere. You install something into some place and you can move them into the others. But size specific art is definitely to be there. Ooh, like position. this one. Yeah. This one I link with the handrail, the column of handrail. Like, so the system of my work, it follow the existing building. 
like the first one, I follow the floor material. I follow the grid line of tie. So, so this is the work that I, I do. And the last one of, of visual asset, this one is the wooden structure that I combine with the like abandoned steel structure. So this one is quite like quite hard to get, but I really like it. Like I try to like create the imagination structure extend from the steel one. Like the wooden part is the way that we apply design to like to imagine that if this column connect to this column or if this one extend to that space, how it's gonna look like, how it's gonna connect to each other and what's gonna happen if the space become like three dimensional more. So so this was talk about like the outside area, the outdoor space. Like the first one is indoor, the second one is like the inner court or something. And this one is open space, outdoor space. Okay, that that's the first part of my work, the, the visual art things. And what about the event? Okay, the next one is event design. And as I told you, uh, the art idea or the conceptual things, it can apply to every kind of work. So this one is, it's like an installation. It's like a lighting installation, but I create them in the event. Like I have to organize that event. And this one is just like, okay, create some atmosphere for the elevator to mm. get people to like upper floor. So just create some mood, create something. This is a, a series that I call uncommon line. So I use like just a few lines to create scenes for concert for or even. So this one is a state design, but in the other way, it kind of some kind of installation to it's a rope hang like just two rope and nothing more. The other is the lighting that created feeling between the show, but for the state design, just that's all for me. Like it's enough for me. It's just uncommon line hanging over there. And this is another series of uncommon line. It's on like to live in Bangkok. So I create like only one line of LED strip that floating upper the musician so from the city of um, Uncommon Line, I think it's quite interesting for me. Me too. Maybe the, <laughs> the, the scale of work is not like not that big, but it's good to experiment on it. And I, I proud myself that I try to to apply this kind of idea into like commercial thing, like a bit more commercial. <clears throat> and for okay. the others, it's about like concert and event. So this one is T Sun Si Jet concert. So I create some kind of door and window hanging around the concert and create some kind of partition at this stage because the, the band is talk about like Ban Kang Kang, right? The, like the neighbor home and there are some songs that talk about a part of building, part of house. So I select to like, when you look through the window or through the door, you're gonna see something that the idea for this one. And this one is a uh, 53 moons. Like I work with the other safe studio to create this one. It's happened on Glass on the Moon Festival so we use like kind of reflective paint and 
install in like in the landscape the concert happened on the conrad sima so we use like 53 moon is uh the concept that come from the moon of saturn the the saturn there are like 53 moons so we create 53 circle shape yeah, yeah. reflective plate and install like overall in in the landscape and the lighting come in to create a scene I have seen this this work in the YouTube that I saw the music video. I think this work is very quite interesting. Yeah. I, I have yeah, seen yeah, it that lift me when they uh, affect into the uh, moon, your circular shape. Yes. Yeah, and also the wind too. Like when when you ah, yes, when, yes. when we do some work, the access thing is our part of work too. So when the wind come, the reflection is follow the wind. Mm -hmm. This one is from Maharasa. So the like the main role of Maharasa festival, I am an organizer. So I do the master planning and like organize everything in in that festival. But this one is the kind of landmark I design and a wall, a long wall. I'm not sure that the dimension, I think eight, 80, 80, mate, 80 meters, hmm. 100, I'm not sure, to create the landmark in the center of festival. And this one is a steady sign for cosplay tree so I work with other save. So other save is a lighting designer that we like work together a lot. So I do like a steady design part and other save come with the idea of lighting design. For this one, I try to create another kind of steady design. Like, so you, you can say, I, I try to do something like pavilion on that stage uh, yeah and the knowledge of structure the knowledge of like the proportion of a space i think it can apply to create something like different from from the others so this this project is i like a lot because it's look weird from the like the the normal concept, but the pavilion thing is quite like kind of they are beautiful in architecture raw way, like not 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 the concept way, but in architecture way. Hmm. Okay, come so that's is a when, part for when my we event see, design. When we see the the work, the style of your work is 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 thought process is still uh, like a architecture process. Yeah, I think so. Mm. It seems like you do the thing that like architecture and the art together and merge it. Mm, <laughs> and I, interesting. Yeah, I think I, I interest with the space, I interest with the form and shape. So so when when it become together, it, it can create something. I think. Okay. And now, apart from the following, is the any work that you enjoy that you want to share more and tell. Hmm. So I have some like architecture that that the same architecture that I say I'm I'm not into. So I like I start to come back to do architecture design 
-hmm. like, but in, I can say, and in the other way, so I, I like, I just made myself as a designer, not architect. So like this one, I, I got a chance to involve with the creative virus exhibition with the i40. So I applied an architectural idea into kind of graphic term to to explain how we can like adapt ourselves with with the COVID situation. And this one called red line. So I use everything red to create something in the space. Like like just a tape, just a maxing tape or just a red lobe or something that we can apply to do in many, many ways. And this one is kind of more serious architecture that I working on it now. So this is a longer how. So I'm, I'm as an architect and I decided the studio path for the interiors. So this one is on the construction. So I can say this is the first house that I designed and were built. But from like when I working the other kind of of work and go back to the architecture, I think the perception is changed. Like, so I'm not good at details. I'm not good at something like specific. But but the aesthetic of space, the proportion of volume or mass, it. it developed from from like last 10 years that I still be the junior architect. So that's that's why I think the the ideas that we got from school can develop and maybe turn back into the other way. There's another house that I designed with Saran. And this is the last one that I design with studio somehow. So so you can see when when we talk about architecture project, I always have the partner, like we do the collaborate things because yeah, uh, I can say I'm not that architect that can like draft anything and clear the details and submit to the engineer. I think I, I can't do that, but for the designer part, I got an idea. I always have a concept to do with the space. And if you look from the outcome, the, the line, the proportion thing is kind of developed from the visual artwork. Hmm. Yeah, and like before the architecture role, I have some like kind of competition just showing. Like this one is Evolo skyscraper competition that we like got just edit a choice from that year like this one i'm working on team but i'm the main part of, of myself is to share idea to develop the concept to develop how to narrate the project okay okay that's yeah. the architecture and now we cover your work of visual art, event design, and architecture. And I have seen in the intro that you also do photography. Can you show us? Okay. For the photography, it's just like a hobby for me, but there are one project that I want to share because it's gonna reflect to to my whole thinking process when I'm work or just like like everyday life. This one, I think it can reflect to, to myself. So this project is called Wall. Uh, there are exhibition in Chiang Mai on like 2016. So this project is the photo of wall, but the wall that I take in there's something like hiding in there. 
So have you seen from like the left photos, their photos and have this transcribing paper that are trying to get the sense of the missing things that happened to that wall. Like you can see the crack and you can see like the ventilation block, it changed. Like the pattern from, from the left side to the right side, it changed because I don't know, maybe it's, there are some accident and they have to select the new ventilation block to create the wall. So I walking around that at, at that time, walking around Chiang Mai and try to like, try to find something like that. Try to like, to observe around and thinking about the, the wall that was behind, what is the story behind that wall? Like the first top left photo that you can see, okay, it's a door, it's a window, but why they have to cover it? Why they have to change that function? So there's the, the way that I like, I use in everyday life. So I'm walking around and try to observe everything by, by watching, by looking around. And after that, when we observe something, try to make a question to them, like why, why it have to be like this? Why it's not connect? Why it's like, why it's covering? Why it's changed from this one to this one? And when we have a question, so like we can find or uh, imagine or experiment to see what's gonna happen next if we add something more into that. Like like this one, I when when I see the wall, I not see just the wall. I see the history. I see the material. I see the pattern of ventilation block that chain, and like, and the other is like colors. The way that they construct them, so that there are many things, and and until now, I still take a photo like this, but like in easier way, like just mobile phone but when i see something like that i try to like collect them and think about it mm. it's a good good idea that you tell i never think that when i walk through something i never think how to look at it like like you <laughs> I, I think it it's quite important that if you can find something that be yourself to to collect or, or make yourself develop like every day like this one is just a practice when i walk like i don't know i, I walk everywhere and if you see something and it can be like some kind of exercise for you in that day that you know. practice yes mm. cool. um is that mean that all of the work that you do is still related into the dot line plane or the as you say that the lower line is like a something that the behind line yeah and like like from the photography project you can see it's still about architecture like i use the material the wall the pattern to, to see the things. So the architecture is still like become my part of thinking process in every kind of work. I very like when that you said about it. Uh, it's not an installation, but it's a site specific work. I, I, yeah. I really like the, the word that you said that is a Size specific work that is like to the you do the work with the context or size surrounding. Yes, it's like you do the size analysis to do what what the thing that we should do. Mm. It's very quite interesting for the everything that you. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's it's the same way that we do size analysis. We have to like start from the existing first. 
and let's see like how we can apply our idea with them. It's like the word that you draw the inspiration from the surrounding that very yep. cool, cool. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> so that is all for our main program for today. Up next, we are opening for the Q&A session that if uh, everyone have the questions, so you can ask to Kunat or Kunvarud. So feel free to ask. <laughs> So for, for my, like for my idea for today, I think we just like share the way that we can apply architecture idea to the others. Do you guys think like architecture is a thinking process that have like systematic that we can apply to many, many kind of work. Maybe the business, we, we can use the architectural idea to like yeah to like it's the process of thinking that yeah. we can use yeah i think so and now we have a question from the uh viewer <laughs> that first one is the question that uh from kun karit that in your opinion what is different between working as an architect and other design fields mm. for for the answer i think there's many ways to compare between these two things like but but for me i start with the feeling that architecture is not not fit with me like as a starting point because i don't like the working process after the design right because you have to it's not just a this design drawing and finish you have to do a construction drawing you have to do the permit drawing and submit to to government and you have to talk a lot with supplier with engineer and you have to wait like two more years to see the work that you design finish so for that part i i don't like it much but if there there are many many architects that work great with that scope of work so I think this one it can compare because I like the other kind of design work because it's fast. Like the event design, the state design, it can happen like within two weeks. We got brave, we design, and in two weeks we create it, and it's happened and end in two weeks. So it, I think this one is a bigger part for me. That's why I like the event design all kind of installation because it, it fast and we can like involve more in in working process it's not easier but it just faster that that's why i like it so i have the sub question that about yeah. as the kun karit ask the difference between working but uh what is the similarity of this mm. this two two I, I think that the difference is just the, the time that we have to spend with the project but the, the similar thing is the way that we working from the starting point to the final design I think it's still like made me excited like when when i'm back to do the architecture i'm really enjoying to design but after that it's okay yeah. to 
yeah, it's okay to go to on site and see how the contractor doing, like check, check the structure, check the material. It's fine, but the more exciting part and still fun for me is the design part that I think is similar be between, not between, similar with all kind of design work. Okay, to sum up to the audience and me, yes. Okay, so we should go to the next question from Kun Atipat Sin Sawat. That <laughs> when you are burnt out, how do you get your motivation back? It's a quite a very good question for fifth year student. That you think long time. So the work that I show today is the work that I like and I love to share. But the work that you haven't seen, that kind of work that I like some kind of burnout, I think. But, but it's, you, you know, it's a commercial thing I have to do for the money. But yeah, if, if you do that work too much, you're gonna burn yourself out. So some some interesting work, some excitement work gonna help us in, in terms of work. I, I didn't talk about the hobbies, but this kind of work that fit with us, that like make me feel young as a student, it gonna help us from the routine work. I think the come to commercial, like, to mm, from from like a serious work that I have to do, this kind of work gonna help us out. Like maybe if you are in architecture, you can do the competition. Like maybe you in the office and you feel like burnout, but if you still want to do the design, you can go to do some competition for yourself with friend that a bit fun, like like I did with my friend. I did a lot of competition, like when I graduated in first first year. And maybe like try to create project for yourself, like personal one. It doesn't have to be architecture. It can apply this idea to the others, like the product design, graphic design, like maybe just find an alternative way for yourself to to do the other when you got burnt out okay it's like it's the thing that you say that is like uh find a new thing that make you feel fresh and learning something yeah i, I think for the first one is just your old thing. If you like, if you really into architecture, but if you burn out from architecture, you go to do some competition or like design some kind of small pavilion for yourself, like a experimental project. You're gonna be helped. But if you have like the other kind of skill, the other hobbies, you can you can apply to do that. Like for me, I have so many, many hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next question. Ah, okay. So since you work a lot with the physical event, has the COVID caused difficulty for you? I am wondering if it gives you new perspective to consider something else in the design field for the digital art or something. So in, in the COVID period, I do a lot of concert online, the online concert. Like mm -hmm. it's do exactly same with the with the normal situation, create a state, have a lighting, but the difference is just the feeling of the sense that we get from that design because it's changed from the 
the people perception into the screen. Yeah. So the lighting have to be brighter. The state have to be like proper because it have to fit the screen like every time. So. So yeah, the the perspective in in my way it changed a bit because I have to like apply to the online things. And for me, I last year I tried to do like some kind of new project for NFT, like do the graphic design, like kind of experimental. So that's the other part from from the concert design. I do the graphic because it's easier to to share to like publish on the online at that time. And what do you like more, like uh, going online or having like offline? Yeah, for for me, it have to be physical one. <laughs> yeah, like definitely. just just last month, I got the first concert online, like the exactly physical concert in two years. So it's mm -hmm. the feeling of working is changed, like. Because because the like the final of our work is not the stage design, but it's the atmosphere at the concert, the feeling of people that involved back, like you can see people like hype with your lighting and enjoy with your stage design. So I think that one is the the, the perfect ending for for the work. So I have to say the physical one is still the best. And um, is there have uh, any good side on the COVID situation that make you like feel have a good chance to do something? Yeah, I, I think they also have many good things happen on COVID like the other design firm, like they experiment on the way to like, like we, we can see the development of concert online. That is just that form like the live video into Zoom meeting, right? And into some kind of VR or anything or some concert happen in the game. So we can see more possibility from from the COVID situation. So I think that one is a good part that we have a time to experiment on some kind of work. Good things come. Okay, and for the next question is from the Kun Pocket Rocket. <laughs> have you tried out to work outside the design fields? Hmm. I'm not sure which one. Uh, yeah, I, I do many things, but everything is go back to design. Like I help my family business. So it's a product design and graphic design. I teach at school in the design school. Um, Maybe the the other part, the mu musician. So I, I have a band. So, but at the end, it have to design like the cover of song or design something too. So, I think I'm this sure. question is a hard question for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, mm, I I think I I do. I do a lot of things, but everything like go back to the design or can use the design thinking apply to that kind of work. Okay, as as you say that you are a musician, right? Uh, mm. With the band name Kunz, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and um, when in you have a role with the musician, and is it? different 
it's quite very different from the organized into the user who uh, play play it in the scene. Is it different? Can you tell the uh, the different mm -hmm. feeling from this thing? Yeah, it's it different for sure because the the role is different. When when you are the musician, you cannot involve with the scene. Like you cannot talk to the lighting operator that can you do this scene for me? Can you make we like make us see it or make it brighter, darker? Got but but when I'm the organizer or I'm the lighting designer, we can design the scene for the audience ourselves. But when when we perform the music, we, we are the guys over there and we just have to perform and the rest of show is like, it's on the lighting designer or sound engineer. But um, mm, I think it's just, something that we that I get what the scene look like like I have six people in my band so we have to like stand like perfectly with the state mm, everything when, that you can decide to yeah, decide. Just, just, <laughs> just the angle of instrument right I play yeah. the scene so I have to okay this one like to a bit uh, very neatly to decide everything <laughs> <laughs> it's good to to do it so and when you have played the music that you have the thing that you will be the full-time musician that you can do it mm, not really I, I think from like had 15 years like since get in school so i think like my my life right now is based on this i thinking like it make make me like think a lot so i can't can't do the others like maybe if if the music thing is go well it's okay but i still want to do this kind of part like the design thing, the visual art things. I think it's uh, become my my character now. Yeah, I think that's the last question for our Q and A section. And our sem seminar is coming to an end, so we would like Peanut to give some advice for <laughs> us as a. Uh, you are junior. Okay. <laughs> I I said it before with some of my friend or the others junior. I I think like if you want to do a thing, just just try, like because when when I in school, right? That that I told you that I plan to be a serious architect before I graduate because I think I like the design so much. But when I try, it changed. And when I try the other thing, I try to do the magazine, it changed. I do the visual art, it changed again. Like, you, you just have to do and find the next answer. It's not a final answer, like, for sure, I think. Because, like, every kind of work or every design field is so many things to learn. So if you like, if you just like, I can do this one or I want to do this one. So just, try. just do it and, and, and the answer is gonna come to you one day. Uh, you, you like, um, you change every day. The, the work, working, thinking too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and is there any work that you still working that you want to share or promote with us? Mm, right now, right now, I think this year is gonna change my life because 
I'm gonna finish architecture project mm. that I don't want to do like in like last two years, but this year the architectural project gonna finish and let's see what's gonna happen to to like to me and lower line because before that I'm do just stay design even design and this one is like it gonna more career to work with gonna be interesting yeah and if you guys like uh peanut bird uh, you can follow him on lower line do you have a facebook page or something yeah i, I have facebook instagram and behance behance.net you can yeah. type the lower line studio and thank you, Pinas, very much for a great talk about how architectural studies can be adapted to other design fields. And we hope that Pinas' story will inspire many people who want to pursue a career. Other than architectural studies, uh, we, we are glad to have you with us today. And thank you, Pinas, for coming. Thank you. Um, thank you. And we believe that everyone listening here is inspired by Peanut Talk. We are now in our fifth year, so it is a time to think about our future. I can see that I might not be an architecture in the future. I will still use what I learned to apply to my job. I hope everyone start to look to their future and apply what we have learned here in the future. And thank you. Thank you, you all, to that you listening to the end. Thank you very much. <laughs>